there, I want to talk about a really cool car that we're super excited about. Uh, this uh, is definitely not your dad's 1940 LaSalle convertible coupe, okay? This is, this is a car that is one family from new. It was, it was from Southern California, initially the Pasadena area, um, and it was, it was bought by a Donald Hendricks. Um, and he was an optical engineer, uh, so he cleaned his specialty, was cleaning lenses for observatories. So he and, and his wife Phyllis were rather petite, uh, so what he did is he actually, he, he took this 1940 LaSalle and he, he basically um, uh, turned it into like a Darren or a Bowman and Schwartz Packard. Okay, and, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, along the entire length, um, normally this would be six inches higher and it would have hood vents over here. So he actually uh, sectioned, and in the in custom world it's called pine, he pied this, meaning he cut the entire length of the car on six inches, okay? Um, the other thing he did is he, um, he channeled it and what that means is he took the body and he sunk the body by about another six inches or so into the chassis, okay? So what it did is it, it created, and then I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the seat is probably lowered two, three inches. So getting in and out, it, this reminds me of either a vintage Bentley or a Bugatti, uh, the, the driving feel. So it's absolutely uh, just a, a blast. This is the Series 62 um, LaSalle, which is unique. It has this belt line, this belt molding going across. Um, and of course, this has white wall radials, but I want to show you something else. This is pretty cool. So LaSalle went out of business and understand that the LaSalle engine was basically a Cadillac engine, but it wasn't. It was modified. Um, I believe a smaller displacement. So Mr. Hendricks, because he was driving this car, was worried that after the war, the parts wouldn't be available for the engine. So what did he do? Smart man, resourceful. Uh, he bolt. Uh, he put in a 19, here, you, you know, if you, you can look in here, Carrie, if you want. It's a 1951 Cadillac 331 overhead valve V8. So he, he installed basically a contemporary engine in it. So again, that he wouldn't have to worry about part supply and, and such. Um, uh, in addition, it's, uh, this has a... Ultimately, it was sourced from a Ford, um, from, from what I understand. Um, so it's a three-speed overdrive, which is you know, very much 1940, uh, but, but a, a more modern engine. So anyway, I, hopefully you can see why we're excited about this car. And uh, always, as always, call, text, or email with any questions. Thank you.